Hi there everyone and welcome once again to the Train Aid HQ. My name is Nick and in today's video we are looking at the Level 4 Certificates in Education and Training and we are going to be uncovering the Teaching Evidence uh, Guide. We are going to be looking at criteria number four which is 30 hours of lesson plans. So as we know in order to meet criteria number four uh, within your Teaching Evidence portfolio you need to submit a minimum of 30 hours of lesson plans. So we are going to be understanding more about this criteria. However, once again, uh, please do like and subscribe to the TrainAid uh, YouTube channel in order to uh, receive the latest updates and alerts from the team. In terms of your criteria for number four, we have to uh, submit a minimum of 30 hours of lesson plans. This must be used to demonstrate your planning and also teaching practice. You can, of course, use uh, the, the lesson plan templates provided by TrainAid and High Field Qualifications. Furthermore, you can, of course, uh, use your own organisation's uh, lesson plans as well. So we do appreciate that every school, college or teaching establishment will have its own style of lesson plans. So please do submit uh, your own uh, particular style um, or brand of lesson plans. That's absolutely fine. If you're new to teaching and training, you can, of course, submit uh, your own. You can create your own lesson plans as well. That is absolutely fine. Um, however, the teaching uh, log, okay, should be consistent with the lesson plan hours. So your uh, your lesson plans, the date that you taught your lessons uh, should marry up, uh, okay, with your teaching hours uh, log and timetable as well. So that's very important. In terms of the, the lesson plans then, so what is a lesson plan first of all? Um, a lesson plan or a teaching and learning plan, or often referred to as a session plan, contains more detail than a scheme of work and is devised for each session uh, you will deliver. So with uh, our lesson plans, they are there as a guide, especially if you're new to teaching, and it provides you with lots of information about the timings of your lesson, okay, how your lessons are going to be structured, uh, section by section, of course, uh, the resources, the teacher activities, the learner activities. Um, it's a fantastic uh, excellent uh, way in order to keep you on track in terms of your timing okay so if you're new to teaching you might have to of course create these key documents how detailed uh, should lesson plans be so it does vary depending on organization uh, but we would say uh, one to three pages is enough uh, no more than that okay so you're using uh, this lesson plan within your day-to-day -day teaching, okay? So one to three pages is enough uh, for one lesson, of course. Um, so another key question is, can I use my own organization's uh, lesson plans? That is absolutely fine to uh, please do submit uh, your own lesson plans and style, that's absolutely fine. Um, in terms of a lesson plan, uh, what should it uh, contain? So in terms of the lesson plan here, we have some real key uh, information such as the timings, train activities, learner activities, the resources uh, that you're using. So once again, all of this information should uh, marry up with your, your scheme of work, of course. Um, you should also have um, some key areas here, such as inclusion, uh, such as stretch and challenge activities, and also um, ideas and activities for those learners who perhaps require a little bit more thinking time and support as well. So it's very important that you do include some considerations for how to promote an inclusive uh, teaching environment. We also have a column here on assessment methods. So how uh, is learning going to be assessed within that particular activity? So this could be questions, discussions, debates, uh, paired work, group work, and also presentation as well. Functional skills is another very important section 
uh, within the lesson plan. It contains uh, an opportunity for learners to develop their literacy, numeracy skills, uh, language, and also digital and ICT skills as well. So within each uh, section um, of your lesson plan, try uh, to include an activity which is going to foster and promote those key functional skills as well. In terms of some other key points uh, within uh, the lesson plan. How should lesson plans be presented? Well, it's very much down to you. Uh, this is very much a, a Word document here, which can, of course, be printed. Uh, you can, of course, handwrite lesson plans. That's absolutely fine or you can type on them, you can keep them electronic as a Word document. Uh, some learners uh, do, of course, use an Excel spreadsheet. Um, others prefer to use perhaps a PDF document as well. Uh, perhaps have a chat to your colleagues, line managers, okay, other different departments as well to see if they can share and also provide you with uh, lots of advice on your lesson plans as well. Of course, dates are very important. So we do need to see a minimum of 30 teaching hours. So dates and also duration. Uh, once again, these lesson plans should marry up with your schemes of work as well. Uh, another key factor as well, so can I repeat lesson plans? That's absolutely fine. So if you have perhaps multiple multiple groups, okay, uh, that you're teaching to, you can of course uh, repeat lessons, uh, simply put the dates of the lessons and also the duration as well. So that's absolutely fine uh, to repeat uh, courses and perhaps the same subject again. Uh, those will count. Uh, just behind me, uh, we have uh, just an example uh, of uh, a lesson plan. Okay, so as we can see here, we have a range of uh, trainer activities, learner activities, resources, inclusion, assessment methods, and functional skills as well. So once again, in terms of the level of detail, one to three pages is enough. So of course you might have to create your own lesson plans and we appreciate that can be quite time consuming. But hopefully once you've completed uh, your lesson plan, hopefully you don't have to rewrite it again. So it is going to be yours for life. As you can see, this is a, an introduction and a starter activity. We also perhaps have the main part of the activity as well. So the second page is often the main element of the, the lesson plan and the lesson. So once again, we should have details of resources, uh, inclusion measure, methods, assessment methods, and also functional skills. And we shall also have the close of the lesson as well. So how uh, assessment should be towards the end of the lesson. So once again, we have the trainer activities, learner activities, resources, inclusion, assessment methods, and also functional skills throughout the lesson um, coming through at each stage as well. So as we can see that the lesson, the activity is very much a journey of a start, a middle, and also an end as well. Okay, so just in terms of your lesson plans, as a reminder, please do submit 30 hours of teaching practice and do email uh, your lesson plans to be reviewed to cet at train-a.co.uk to be marked within five working days. Please do try and keep your uh, lesson plans as clear as possible, okay? And do include key dates, okay, of when you have taught that lesson along with the duration uh, of lessons as well. So thank you very much for watching once again. Uh, please do like and subscribe to the Train Aid uh, YouTube channel to receive the latest updates and alerts from the team. Bye for now.